Number 10, BYU. Hi, everybody. Craig Bullerjack, along with Mark Lyons. And, Mark, we know that the... Uh, the factor in this game is going to be the weather. It's snowing, it's cold, it's windy, and uh, let's go down onto the field with, and check in with Doug Miller. Doug? Let me tell you, Craig, you can break out all your how cold is it lines today. How cold is it? But here on the KSL Weather School thermometer, it's about 24 degrees. It's dropped 2 degrees since uh, we just began opening warm-ups here, so the temperature is plummeting. You can see the snow falling. The wind is right out of the north, a stiff wind. Chill factor somewhere around 0 to about 4 below. The following is a KSL Television Sports presentation. Today, from Fountain Stadium in Colorado Springs, Colorado, the BYU Cougars meet the Air Force Academy Falcons on BYU Football. And you're looking live at the Rocky Mountains just outside uh, Colorado Springs. It uh, started snowing late last night, has not let up, and it is a cold and windy day here at Falcon Stadium. And uh, Matt Bellini. Cougars line up, slot to the left. On first down, Detmer will throw. Good protection, swings the ball out to Chris Smith, the big tight end on the screen pass. Follows his blockers, and he's knocked down to the turf at the 31-yard line. First and 10 for BYU, Matt Bellini goes in motion. Nadi Valdez lines up in the slot and a quick flip out to Bellini, makes the fingertip catch and he's stacked up at the 35-yard line. Shannon Yates, third down and eight for BYU. Detmer will pedal back, good protection. Fires a strike near sideline, Micah Matsuzaki inside Falcon territory, knocked out of bounds at the 41, 20 yards a catch every time he gets his hands on the football. A little counter trap, Tui Pelotu off right tackle, and he uh, keeps those legs running up to the 33-yard line. His forte is catching the football. Third down and two, Detmer drops back. All day to pass, now dumps it to Peter Tui Pelotu, got the first down. Will step aside and take a timeout. 11.07 left, we're scoreless at Falcon Stadium. Don't go away. McDonald's presents Golden Moments in BYU football. The Bulldogs were the highest ranking team BYU had ever faced to date, and the Cougars led most of the second half on this Steve Young to Scott Colley TD pass. But George's Herschel Walker amassed 51 fourth quarter yards, scoring a TD and setting up the game-winning field goal to give Georgia a 17-14 win in what Bulldog coach Vince Dooley called a monumental struggle. Well, so far, Craig, uh, Ty Detmer is throwing the football very effectively. He's four for four, picked up three first downs for 48 yards. So right now he's able to throw the ball well. Cougars have taken uh, the ball on the 20 and marched it down to the 26 of Air Force. Bellini makes the catch, sidesteps uh, one tackler, but finally tripped up. Shannon Yates, uh, number 25, picking up big yardage, uh, picked up maybe three on the play, second down at the 22-yard line. You see him try to sidestep him. And if he could get by it, but see, you're right. Yates just gets that. And he'll kick into a stiff win, and that ball may be tipped at the line of scrimmage, and it's uh, short. Full sweep the option outside. On third down, Perez with the pitch. And Shad Hansen forced that play and tripped up. Gets a nice kick, and it drives Bellini back to the 10-yard line, slips, picks up a block, has got a hole. At the 25, 30, 35, 40, and he's hit down at the 41-yard line. A nice return by Bellini. Well, we're going to take a break here with the score 0-0. Zero, zero. Double slot for BYU. On third down, Detmer pumps and fires, and a first down catch made by Nyberg inside Falcon territory. Boom, takes a pop. First down for BYU. Mike Salito on the counter, just checked in. Big yardage, 12, 15, maybe 20 yards up near the 30. A linebacker in yeah, size and weight, right. but he does cover a lot of turf. On second down, Detmer feels the pressure, runs out of the pocket. Got a man, and down to the 15-yard line is Salito. Salito gets the call, stumbles, fumbles the football. It's free, and Air Force has it at the 19-yard line. Perez will throw, and he's hit. 
Snow continues to fall here at Falcon Stadium. A little dusting here on the ground right off the 13-yard line where BYU is just about to put the ball in play again, but really not that bad of conditions right now. Just a little wet cold. Detmer on first down, throws far sideline. Tui Pelotu makes the catch, takes a big hit. First down in order to continue this drive. Third and one. Detmer drops back to pass, fires a dart up to the 30-yard line. And Brent Nyberg made the catch. And uh, this will probably be the last play of the first quarter. 37 seconds on the clock. Detmer again throws it. Tui Pelotu with a nice diving catch. First quarter is over. We've played 15 minutes. And in the snow and wind, we are scoreless at the Air Force Academy. We'll take a break and be right back. Detmer, good prote protection. Bellini makes the catch and still on his feet, driven out of bounds at the 39-yard line. Rolling the game, but uh, there's no points on the board. And the one turnover deep inside Air Force territory by Salido. The catch far side made by Andy Boyce, ridden out of bounds. As a look at Ty Detmer, Heisman Trophy candidate. Rolls out, protection, Chris Smith, and he makes the catch and takes a shot miles an hour just like by, following yeah. the semi up here yeah. this morning second down three Detmer all time to pass got a man Smith wide open down at the 10 breaks a tackle down to the seven yard line 12 minutes left to play first half voice in motion Detmer bootlegs it throws back across the grain and touchdown Boyce yeah, now that wasn't supposed to happen that way. <laughs> he had eight seconds to motion. Now, uh, Detmer's trying to make a read out here to the right. He wants to find somebody out on the right, but he uh, holds up. He's got good time to throw. Seven, eight seconds. He delivers the ball all the way back across the field, and he had their choice, Peter <laughs> or Boyce, either one of them. The extra kick is good at the 37. Looks like a busted play. Perez in trouble and tied up by Kafusi. Against BYU it was the personal foul kind of face mask. First and 25. A quick flip out to the far side. Boyce buried at the 29. Lines up slot to the right. And now Boyce in motion. Detmer runs out of trouble. Back across the grain. And another catch made by the big tight end. Chris Smith past the 45. Third down. Detmer again trots back. Smith again inside Falcon territory down at the 41-yard line in the early minutes of the second quarter. Falcon showing blitz. Cougar line picks it up. A little lob pass out to Zundell, the backup tight end. He's got a lot of running room, 15-10, and knocked out of bounds uh, at the 9-yard line, 30. First and goal at the 9. Salido, the handoff, cuts it back up the middle down near the six. It's, uh, just keeps knocking him down. Salido, the handoff. Near the goal line. Field, Sim Tia Tia, Scotty Charlton. Tui Pelotu gets the call. Did he get in? Yes, touchdown. Well, a uh, linesman on the far side saw Peter get the nose of the football over, apparently. And for Peter Tui Pelotu or Kaufman in to try the kick after and he boots it through the uprights and the Cougars build a 14 to nothing lead 519 left and now there's a flag though down on the field running Part into the defense. kicker point is good penalty will be assessed on the kickoff so the extra point uh, does stand 14 to nothing as you see uh, Kaufman take Perez And they try to run it off the right side and maybe a yard. Second down and nine. Perez Ooh. wanted to pitch and he took a shot by Scott Giles. You can hear the pads pop. <laughs> Perez hit by Giles and Patisse <laughs> Manu. That Perez is a tough kid. Isn't? Yard attempt. He's a left footer. Oh, way wide. He's a... Uh... Just, boy, it almost blew it right back in there. Seven to work with before halftime. Detmer hands it off to Salido. Big hole up the middle. 
Well, now that play changes the uh, attitude right now. Third down at 10 on the 37. Tui Pelo, too, on the delayed draw up near the 50, still on his feet and fights down to the Falcon 48-yard line. First and 10 on the 48-yard line of Air Force. Play action, Detmer to Boyce. And he's wrapped up at the 34-yard line. Shannon Boyce Yates Rickers. so far. And the one touchdown to Boyce. Third down. Detmer pumps, runs out of the pocket. Boyce wide open and smartly trots out of bounds at the 18-yard line. Seven seconds on the clock. Seven seconds. So the choice is, uh, well, here's... Detmer was looking to the bench, run one more play, it looked like. Uh, and, and, you know, I don't think he, I don't think he can uh, if, unless, they, unless they score. The ball spotted on the 26. Boyce the holder, a 36-yard attempt by Kaufman. The kick up and good. So it was a good choice. Now, Air Force has blocked four kicks this year. Uh, I think Yates has two of them, and that took seven seconds. So that's the last play of this half. Kaufman hits the field goal and will break for half with the Cougars up 17 to nothing. Clock running, 13.45. Perez fakes the handoff, wants to throw the ball on the ground. Is it a fumble? They called it a fumble. Pete Harston lowered the boom on Perez and Scotty Giles. Well, that's Giles who hit Perez and Harston with the fumble recovery. Was his arm in motion? Here comes Giles from the backside. It was not going forward. He pulled it back, but he had not yet gone forward. And you can see that the collision was what caused the fumble. I think that was a correct call. Cougars on the 36-yard line. Detmer at quarterback. Play action. Going for the home run, ball, Boyce, touchdown. <laughs> he almost didn't see him. Now, who's down out there? Detmer took a shot after he let go of the football up on his feet. His second touchdown pass of the day for Boyce. They've hooked up twice today. Kaufman in for the extra point. Boyce the holder, and it's no good. Off to the left. A 36-yard touchdown from Detmer to Boyce. And the Cougars up 23-0. Thank you for your cooperation. We'll be back. Fumble on the play, and who's got it? Cougars at the 25. Oh. They signal oh. they have it. The White Hat's the guy that knows who has it. And, and the Falcons, yeah, retain. Pat Swinney says no. Yeah, Eddie Green came out and says, what are you talking I've got the football. I've Down nine. A pass. Perez batted down at the line of scrimmage by Giles. <laughs> well, what a game. Trips left. Third down, eight. Perez again. Play action. In trouble. Throws the ball downfield. Picked off. Crutchfield, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10. He's going to go. Touchdown, BYU. Well, uh, nice pick by Crutchfield. And what an outstanding run after he made the catch. Two quick touchdowns to open up the third quarter. And BYU with a 30 to nothing lead. Picks off the ball. Thank you very much. Takes it back 36 yards. And Perez with the keeper. And he is met head on by Mark Smith. And Rodney Lewis, the fullback. Perez with the pitch. Zoidrick in trouble. Ooh. Takes a shot and buried at the 20. Air Force with a new look. Man in motion. They got away with a procedure, didn't they? And Perez thrown for a loss. Bellini back, takes it at midfield. Bellini at the 20. And what a return for Bellini down at the 18-yard line. Yeah. Still hasn't got 300. 19 consecutive games with 300 yards passing. Detmer back to the air. Got a man, Nyberg, down at the three-yard line. I'll be darned. He's got 301. I'll bet confused as to why it goes so well sometimes. The pitch to Stacy Corley turns it up, dives in, touchdown. Oh, what a play. Up and over. Oh, here comes Ty. Can to give him a pop. <laughs> <laughs> a two timer. Stacy says thanks a lot, Ty. Corley likes to run the corners, but this time he ran it north and south and right up over the back. 7.27 left in the third. 
We'll be back. Defensive protection. Falcons back on offense. Perez with the keeper. Breaks it up the middle. At the 40, the 50. Follows a blocker up to the 35. Still on his feet. And tackled at the 30 by Rocky Beagle. As down to the Cougar 29. Perez, the handoff. Jason Jones may break it. 10, 5. Touchdown. Put you on the scoreboard in a hurry. A short kick. It's picked up by number 31, Brad Clark. And he's still on his feet, battling up to the 45-yard line. Who wants to uh, get back control of the game? Detmer, play action. Good protection. Steps up in the pocket, fires it to his tight end, Chris Smith. The defender fell down, and Smith turned it upfield. Dressed warm today. Uh, looks like he's okay. <laughs> Second down. Voice in motion. Detmer on the roll. Voice the sliding grab at the 19. Yep. Left to play, third quarter. Detmer, the handoff. Salito stacked up. Tui Pelotu. Tui Pelotu, third. Second down and six on the 16. Detmer pedal back. Pumps once. He's got some running room. Detmer's going to tuck it. Stumbles up to the eight. Plenty. Third and 19. Goal to goal. A quick pass downfield at the five yard line. Boyce. They're going to give him a catch, I think. Nobody knows. The Falcons uh, indicate no catch, but the official on the scene, they, they spotted at the five. Eighth reception today, and that'll give him just over 100 yards. Smith has six receptions for 105, so together, that looks pretty. Oh, look at that. He does. He hands it right on his shoulder pad. Field goal just before half. This one he tries to chip through, and it's good. Two-yard pickup. Perez with the keeper. Turns it upfield, and still on his feet. Fumbles! And I believe Josh Arnold got an arm around the pickskin, and it's Cougar football at the 37. Detmer wants to pass. Chris Smith all day, wide open. Nothing different here. And he uh, is second down. Detmer with the play take. Downfield, Andy Boyce. Been busy all day. Middle of the field. 18-yard line. Another Boyce attempting to avoid the sack. Second down again at the 19. Detmer again, back to pass. The law, Bellini, touchdown. There's a flag. They're going to pull this one back away from me. Second down, 20 on the Air Force 29. And Detmer likes to roll out to his left. Matsuzaki. Ooh, yes, play. the catch made at the 10. The Cougar section of the end zone. All right, Doug Miller, Salito, the handoff, turns it up the left side, out of bounds at the four. Detmer sends Bellini in motion. Pedals back. A quick pass. Boyce, his third touchdown of the day. So they pick it up with the uh, pass. I think he's got a legitimate concern. Yeah, I do too. Third down, 24. Perez in trouble. Regained his balance and then downed at the 19 by Fatissa Manu. Joe Evans has completed 70% of his passes thrown this year. Uh, seven for 10. Little play action. Evans will throw the football downfield and the catch made by number 95, Byron Rex. Evans pedals back. A quick flip. Nice read by Evans because they brought two inside linebackers that time. Falcons with the bliss. Got Charlton, big hole off the right side. Cuts it back outside at the 30. Ooh. He may go 20 and then driven out of bounds. Nice recovery by the Falcons. First down, three. Stacy Corley turns the corner, gets the first down. Clock will stop. First down at the Falcon 36. Charlton keeps those legs running, and he's inside the 20. Boy, Charlton, you are right. He gets off a quick step. The pitch, Stacy Corley. And he nearly gets.
gets the first down. Maybe he did. They spot it inside the orange uh, <laughs> at the seven. Charlton, off right tackle, cuts it back. Ooh. Touchdown, fumbles it, though. Did he get in? Yes. Took a hit at the goal line, but he reached out and broke the plane. A touchdown for BYU. It's the new call this year in college. They've gone to this call. We've seen it quite a bit. Off with the seven-yard touchdown run, and the Cougars build a 54-7 to lead. Baker gets it off with a second to spare. Baker turns it up. Will not get the first down. The Cougars, in fact, throw Baker for a, a yard loss. So BYU back on the field. Right now, I, I don't have a good word on it. We'll check on it. Joe Evans pedals back on third down. Got a man open at the 30. I'm interested to see, you know, Joe Evans used the old stagger stuff. Or you know immediately what's wrong. And Mortensen dragging that right leg. Boy, really? There goes Brad Clark. Clark again, spinning and twisting his way up to the 12-yard line. Fourth down here, and Brent Smith, the quarterback for BYU. Ooh, there's a hit. Flag thrown at the eight-yard line. Brad Clark got the handoff. The football game. Fourth down, four. And Air Force will be close, but I don't think they got past the 10-yard line. No, they've been held. It looks as though... Uh, I am interested. I'd, I'd like to see Air Force make some adjustments because BYU uses the same kind of defensive tactic every year. And uh, Air Force, uh, I didn't see anything really different about their attack with the option. And the Cougars and Falcons shake hands with Will Edwards uh, making his way across the field to uh, shake hands with Fisher to Berry. The Falcons will drop to four and five overall and two and four in the conference. BYU, they up their record to 7-1 and one and 5-0 and oh in whack play. The final from Falcon Stadium, BYU 54.